So Rakahuri is named after the Ashley River, which is the uh, closest river to us. And, and through the, the building, you can see the, the Canterbury Plains up on the wall, the stylized version of them, and then the blue uh, Rakahuri River running all the way through the building and ending up on the, the concrete or the, the mountains um, at Pukataraki, which is in the, the science end. So that's important to us. Each hub has its own name, which is named after a, an area along that river that, that was important for Maori, whether it's in terms of a, a trading place or, or for gathering kai. There's a lot of different breakout spaces. So we've got spaces for students who need um, a bit more of a quiet um, spot. We've got um, labs where students can go in and use paint or um, do electronics or things like that as well. It offers um, an opportunity for a little bit more diversity in what they're learning and how they're learning um, and it also means they're not all just sit at tables um, kind of constrained by their spot. They can move around a bit which supports their relationship with their learning. So over the last couple of years we've had prototype uh, connected classes or subject areas uh, happening in both year 9 and, and year 10 and in a couple of cases that's been two classes of, of 30 sort of coming together with two teachers and the spaces that we created to help uh, that work uh, helped us a lot in understanding what Rakahuri, a, a large new space, uh, required and there are, there are probably three key ingredients to to supporting teachers in terms of their collaboration. Uh, one is a, a, a space that is ventilated and acoustically sound. Uh, the second thing is a place where students, if they are breaking off in a group, for whatever reason that there is a space where they can go to, whether it's to be noisy or whether it's to be quiet or whether it's with a teacher aid or whatever that might be. Uh, and the third thing is a space where teachers can actually be, so a, a space near their teaching space where they can actually meet. So whether it's for five minutes or ten minutes or whether it's an hour and a half meeting, that place for them to be has been really, really important. It's worked amazingly well. I was the main doubter in terms of noise. I was quite concerned. It's a, it is a large space and with the number of students that we have in here, you know, sometimes up to 500 students in total, it's really quiet. There is always a hum, there is always the noise of, you know, something going on, as there should be. Learning is not quietly sitting in the corner reading a book. Learning is about doing and talking and, and collaborating, and so there's always going to be that, that, that level. But it's not an intrusive, it's not, uh, it's not something that, that stops another group from doing what they need to do, so that part's been really, really good. The student feedback at the moment is pretty positive. They're enjoying the different teachers coming to them. They're enjoying the different slant on different things that different teachers can bring. Uh, they're enjoying working in larger and smaller groups. The big new learning space is it's really good and it's really good to be able to sit where you want and work with who you want and work in big groups and be able to manage your own learning. I often wander up and down and, and just to have a look and a, and a, and a listen and you know, take a wee snapshot of, of, of what's happening and you can almost always see students engaged. Uh, you can almost always see students working in different pockets uh, and then when you go a little bit closer because some people would say yeah but what are they engaged in, uh, they are discussing or working on uh, the things that they are meant to be doing and, and I think if we can get to the point where students are able to do that in a big setting, which let's face it if they're in a workplace or a university they're going to have to be doing that themselves, if we can get them engaged and, and making decisions for themselves that can only be a good thing.